Hello, Herbert. Hello, Herbert. Hello, hello. Welcome back, guys. How are you? Hello, hello, Herbert. Hello, Maria. Hello, Noemi. Hello, Marco. Hello, hello teacher. teacher. Hello, hello, Maria. Hello, Herbert. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Noemi. Welcome, Marcos. All right. Who can tell me what information you remember from the previous class? What vocabulary do you remember? What expressions do you remember? If anything. Okay, so we were looking at this exercise right here, uh, referring to answer the questions. Let's listen to the audio. Everybody here. I'm so excited. Can we everybody have two here? Weeks. Oh, wow. Yes. What okay. are you going to do? Okay. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. All right, uh, let's take a look at the first one. Uh, go ahead, Herbert, read the first one. Herbert, read the first one. Okay, where are the girls going to stay? Read okay. the answer. Read the answer. Uh, at a relative's this house. Perfect. Thank you. Noemi, number two. Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's going to go to the beach with the cousin. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Marco, number three. Uh, Quijano. What might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Go fishing. Thank you. <coughs> uh, the next one, please. Saul, number four. What should you say if you're unsure? Maybe I will leave around the end of June. Perfect. Perfect. All right, what should you say if you're unsure? Maybe I will leave around the end of June. Okay, uh, any questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of these words? Questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of these words? Nobody? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next one, listening. Listen, please. Can everybody hear? Can everybody hear? Units yes. three to four hear? quiz. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Part A. Okay. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. 
There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. 3. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. 4. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. Okay, do you guys have any questions in regards to the listening? Uh, questions about the pronunciation or questions about the meaning of the words? Anybody? Okay. Uh, right now, what I want you to do is I want you to work in pairs and I want you to complete the listening activity. And then we will check it together. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it. One person can share the screen. Eso es lo que vamos. Es lo del trabajo final. Carlos. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Vamos a contestar las preguntas en base al audio que escuchamos. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. Okay, ya comparto, si gusta. Acabo de ingresar, compañeros. Ay. Ay. Vaya, aquí está. Creo que era de, sí, es de este, de Luis. Yes. Okay. Number one, Jen likes her new apartment because uh, it's cheaper than her old apartment. What can you say, compañeros? Option three, it's cheaper than her old apartment. Según lo que escuché en el audio, es lo que entendí. Sí, ok. Para la segunda, Seth wants to leave downtown because... She wants to leave downtown because... He worked there. He worked there. Ok. Vaya. Karen, Karen apartment is... Okay. 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 Okay.
Ah, disculpe. Too small. Too small. Okay. Okay. Doc wishes his new apartment where? Magician of my work. Doc wishes his new apartment. Los otros compañeros que escucharon fue si, si, si pones el audio en la última floor? parte. Sí, ves, es acá. O, lo, o pongo el audio de nuevo si quieren. Ok. Ok, solo en un momento. Okay. ¿Lo escuchan ahí? No. No, no se escucha. Ok, ok. ¿Ahorita? No. No. ¿Todavía no? No. Ok. No. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ahí me avisa si escucha. No, no se escucha. Hijo de su madre. Bueno, creo que aquí... Me molesta. Sí, de un momento, pero se vuelve. Doctor Wishes que diseñó a Camila Juan. All right, let's listen to it together. Can everybody hear? You Can everybody hear? Four quiz. Yes. Okay. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to, 
The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. 3. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. 4. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. Okay, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, I want you to read the sentence and give me the answer. Wendy. Saul, number two. Wendy, number one. Number one. Jane liked her new apartment because it's cheaper than her old apartment. Perfect. Number two, Saul. Seth wants to leave downtown because he works there. Because he works there. Perfect. Uh, number three, Marco. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. A can apartment is too small. Karen's Perfect. apartment is too small, sorry. Karen's apartment is too small. Good, good. Uh, Dorivel, number four. Okay, Maria, number four. So, which uh, <laughs> new apartment were on the first floor? On the first floor is correct. All right, uh, good job, guys. Any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about this vocabulary? Not right. from my side. Okay. I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. I want you to go to section B in the final exam. And I would like for you to do it together. Yes, Wendy, do you have a question? Uh, Wendy, do you have a question? Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and work no, together. Care. Thank you. Let's go ahead and work together and do section B. Ready? We're going to change groups. We are going to change groups. One student can share the screen. Cuestionario del, del... ¿Qué ve? ¿Cuál es? La sección de, del examen final era, ¿verdad? Casi no te escucho, te oigo como... como... Quizá el ventilador, ¿eh? Aquí está, aquí está haciendo un gran calor. ¿Y ahora? Sí, ahora mejor. Este... Es es después la... de un listening... No me fijé bien qué sección era. Ah, ¿Alguien puede es, compartir eh, es la, la pantalla? Es la última sección. Ah, ya sección, sé que... Sección 5 es. 
de la sección, no. no según la que puse ahí, parece que es la sección 2 del examen final. Según lo que aparecía en la, en la imagen que él puso. Mm. ¿Alguien puede compartir la pantalla? I cannot share because I am using the cell phone. Igual que yo. Somebody can share. Ok. Esa. ¿Te puede ver? Yes. Esa, yes, esa es. Okay. Can you drop down? Uh, number one. I love my neighbor house. It's very safe. Okay, pero ese ya está contestado. I live on a very bossy. Street, I can get a little bit noisy. It's convenient to have parking space near my apartment. Our house is modern and very bright. It has huge windows. Ya vamos a contestar todo, entonces. Bueno. Sí, continúa. Our apartment, uh, our apartment is too small. There are yeah. not no rooms. People can see in our house there is not an old privacy my car But, is too small it doesn't have enough space next my apartment doesn't have as many windows as my own home One person, my old one. Number two, our house is as convenient as your apartment. Uh, three, modern apartment often don't have as much space as older ones. I don't like my new job. I wish I wish it were more fun. Number two. I can find my new cell phone. I wish I could find, find it. My boyfriend isn't in good shape. I wish he were in good shape. Have you ever eaten a Spanish food? Number two, yes, I have. I went to a Spanish restaurant last week. Did you like it? Yes, it was delicious. Number two. One. What are you going to do after class today? I am definitely 
definitely defini going to watch a movie with a friend. When are they going to take their vacation? Number four, I think they will go on the uh, cruise in June or July. Bangkok is a good place for shopping. True. True. All right, let's check. Uh, number one, Juan Carlos. ¿Cuál, Juan Carlos? Uh, Maravilla. I love my network hub is very safe. Safe, very good. Neighborhood, thank you. Uh, let me have number two, Roberto. Number three, Carla. Okay, number three, uh, number two, Carla. Uh, I live on a very bus busy busy street. Busy BC? street. Uh, I live on a very busy street. I it can get a little bit noisy. It can get a little bit noisy. Perfect. Uh, number three, Saul. It's um convenient. Excellent, convenient. It's, it's yeah, it's convenient to have parking a space nearby a apartment. Perfect. Near, near my, my apartment. Uh huh. Near my apartment. Thank you. Uh, yeah, number four, Wendy or Irma. Our house is modern and very bright. It has cool window. Huge windows. Huge. Huge windows. Huge. Huge. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, it's time for us to take the attendance. Uh, when I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Uh, Adriana. Present. Thank you, Adriana. Present, uh, Carlos Martinez. Present. Excellent. Claudia Maria. Present, teacher. Very good. Doribel. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Absent, okay. Herbert. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Irma. Present. Good job. Isabo. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Guevara. Jacqueline Guevara. Absent, okay. Uh, Jacqueline Cermeño. Jacqueline Cermeño. Absent, okay. Uh, Juan Carlos Cubillas. Juan Carlos Cubillas. Absent, okay. Juan Carlos Maravilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Carla. Present teacher. Very good. Leana. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Luis. Present. Very good. Uh, Marco Quijano. Present. Excellent. Marco Ramirez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Maria. Present. Very good. Uh, Marina. <clears throat> Absent. Noemi. Present, teacher. Thank you. Raul. Present teacher. Good job. Uh, René Giovanni. Martinez. Absent. Okay. Uh, Roberto. Roberto. Okay. Uh, Ruth. Here, teacher. Good job. Saul. Present teacher. Very good. Wendy. Present teacher. Awesome. And that's it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, for the next activity, I would like for us to do a conversation. I'm going to share with you a couple of questions on the chat, and I would like for you to work in pairs and discuss the questions. I'm going to send them over here in the Zoom. Did everybody get it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to also share them in the WhatsApp group. Okay, everybody got it on the WhatsApp? And everybody got it on the Zoom chat. I got it. Okay. I got We're it. Change groups. We're going to change groups. Practice, please. Practice the conversations. Good evening. It's going to be yeah. brought. Good evening, Herbert. Good evening. Okay. Uh, I, I am first. Okay. Who, who answer? I, I can answer. Okay. Can you tell about something you love? I love my baby. Okay. Can you tell about something you hate? 
I hate responsible people. Okay. Can you tell about something you really care about? I care about my house. Okay. Can you tell about someone you dislike? I dislike peso pluma. <laughs> peso pluma. Can you tell about a dream you you be have? I dream to paint my full house and I dream to buy a car and I dream to have a better job. Este es un sueño que tú ya has tenido. I think so. Can you tell me about the dream that you have? Can you tell about a goal you have? Goal you have. Okay. A goal. Goal is just uh, maybe. Yes, it's like uh, achievement. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, world. Um, I will set uh, travel to to another country. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you tell about yourself? <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, I said, um, <clears throat> I studied English at the university. I am working in a call center now. I have a children. I am a single mom. And at this moment, I have a sick, my little baby, so uh, kind of uh, maybe tired because I can't sleep uh, so well during the night. And what else? I love um, romantic music. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Did, did you did you say that you study English in the university? Yes. It was uh, uh, that, uh, 10 it, years ago, maybe. Hurry up. Okay. Can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, well, I grew up in a humble family. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have, uh, I can say that I, I had a good childhood. Mm -hmm. Because yes. I used to play with my with my neighbors. We used to play uh, at Chibola. We used to play football. We used to watch TV together. So I can say that it was a very good childhood. Mm, okay. Uh, can you tell about your family? I have uh, three sisters. And uh, I have three brothers too. Yes. Okay. We are a big family. That's good. Do you, do you tell me about? Could you tell me about your family? I. Uh, could you tell me about your parents? Yes. Um, my mom's name is Yolanda, and my father's name is Alejandro. Um, they are still still alive. Mm -hmm. They live to they live together, okay. and they live in the countryside. And I love my parents. <laughs> okay, uh, can you tell me about your boyfriend? Honestly, I don't have a boyfriend, so no, I can't. Can you tell about your girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you tell me about your pet? I don't have a pet. Can you so, tell me about something you believe in? I believe in God, even okay. though I cannot see him. Okay. Can you tell me about a place you be visited? Uh, four years ago, I traveled to Honduras. 
So mm -hmm. it was a uh, amazing place. It was called was, um, ah, okay. I don't remember, I just forgot the name, but it was an Honduras. Okay. Can you tell me about an accident you seen? Mm. Fortunately, I have not seen any accident. I haven't seen any accident, so no. Okay, can you tell me about a time when you were happy? Yes, when I was baby, because we don't have to pay bills and I don't have to be an adult and pay my whole things, my house, my food. So I would say when I was a child, I was very happy. Okay, can you tell me about a time when you were sad? I was, well, I had a lot of time. But then it's when I had 15 years old, I was 15 years old, my grandmother uh, died. And that day it was my graduation for ninth grade. So it was a very sad experience. Oh, oh wonderful. Uh, okay. You have? Um, a goal is una meta. I travel in USA. <laughs> si se puede. Okay. <laughs> um, can you tell about yourself? Um, ¿Cómo es aprender bien el inglés? Okay. Pero ahí dice que si puedes hablar un poco de usted mismo. Um, vamos a ver. I am a strong um, character o ¿cómo se puede decir? Soy carácter fuerte como... Eh, I think that's strong character. Ah? Yo creo que sabía así, strong character. Okay. Difícil las preguntas el teacher. Okay, they dice, uh, can you tell about your childhood? Mm. Repeat, please. Can you tell about your childhood? ¿Qué significa que si sí puedes hablar acerca de tu infancia? Mm. Híjole, pero para explicar todo eso, ay, tía. <risa> <risa> o sea, ¿cómo, digamos, fue mm. nuestra niñez o algo que tal vez que sucedió en la niñez pues yo creo que es solo como fue porque dice que si puedes hablar de tu infancia o sea cualquier cosa mm. vamos a ver mm. My opinion. Um, my parents uh, tell me a lot about God. God. Mm -hmm. O sea, mis padres me enseñaron mucho de Dios. Uh -huh. Sí. 
y cambiarle la vida a tu familia. Mi vida cambió gracias a mí, es como que compraste porque cuando fue la Si quieres, pasamos a la siguiente. Uh -huh. eh, can you tell me about your family? Mm. Mm. My family. My family is united. O sea, es unida. Okay. Do you have Mary? Mm -hmm. Or do you have sons? Sons. Como si usted tiene hijos o... Uh, one doctor. Okay. Uh, the next question is, can you tell about your your parents? Um. Yes. Mm. Um. I am. Um, ¿Cómo se dice esposo? I am... Husband. Esposo uh -huh. husband. Husband. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And what is your job about? What? What is your job about? Uh, what do you do in the government? My job is... is uh, Technical in uh, gestión de la calidad. I don't know in English. Gestión. Yes. Uh, uh, customer service. Ah, okay. That's good. All right, guys. We are going to change partners. We are going to change partners and repeat. Vamos a cambiar pareja y repetir. Change partners. We are going to change partners. Right now, we're waiting for Irma, Noemi, and Wendy. And Isabo. We're going to change partners. Is everybody back? No, we're waiting for Irma and Noemi. Irma Rent. and Noemi. There they are. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to change partners. Ready? Let's go. Hi. Hello. Adriana. Hello. Hello. Okay, practicamos. Okay. Le pregunto primero o, o usted a mí. Le pregunto. Si quiere, vamos una y una. Ah, ok. Ok. Empieza yo. Um, si quieres tú. Ok. Can you tell about something you love? Eh, I love my. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Hijas. My. Sons. Sons. 
Uh, my love uh, play soccer. My love uh, music rock. Okay. Next. Can you tell about something you have? I hate um, the pineapple. La piña. Uh, and I hate uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Calor. Calor. Uh -huh. eh, sería pues si estamos hablando de clima se dice uh, it's, it's, it's hot algo así porque si decimos calor es, hay una que se refiere como a calorías también well I love the ¿cómo se dice clima? El cal... el calor el calor siguiente can okay. you tell about something you really care about Quiero ver, o sea, eso se refiere a algo que me importe, ¿verdad? Can you tell, can ¿Sí? you tell me about someone you dislike? Someone I dislike. Mm, well, in a brief summary, I only will say that it was someone that I don't feel comfortable staying with talking with that person or that person and it was someone that I with I don't share the same values and principles and we have totally different ideas and well that's all it's not uh, really, it's not a someone that I feel comfortable staying with this person. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me about yourself? Well, well, let me see. Well, I'm 23 years old. I try to enjoy the life and be good with people. And I try to do my best with my hobbies and my goals in life. So that is what I can say this moment. And also very passionate with I with the things that I like. Okay. And who is next? Oh. Si quiere, yo le, si quiere, yo le pregunto a usted. Ok. Ok. Eh, let me see. Uh, ok. Can you tell me about someone you love? Someone. Yes, someone you love. Okay. Someone I love is my daughter. My yes. daughter because I spend my time with her all the time. And I learn something new every day with her. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Nice. Okay. Can you tell me about your parents? Okay. My parents are Wendy, Casado, yes, Wendy. And they live together with my brother because I live with my husband. So they live with, with him and they are very happy people and they are funny with other people that they don't know oh 
nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me see. Can you tell me about your childhood? Childhood? Yes, childhood. Okay, my childhood was very good because I spent my time with my friends and play different games in the neighborhood. And I think was very happy. Oh, nice, nice. Nice, let me see. Okay. Can you tell me about your pets? Okay, my pet has eight years old. Its skin is like a dalmata, but it don't, it doesn't, it doesn't dalmata. So it is very happy and how do you say gloton or comelon? <laughs> uh, you can say he's... He is gluttonous. He is gluttonous. 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 It is gluttonous and it is tall, very tall. So that's it. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, let me see one more. Okay, can you tell me about a place you have visited? Okay, the place I have visited was Guatemala. I went with my family when I didn't have my daughter. That experience was so funny because the the time that we went, the the weather was cold, so it was raining, but the how do you say it? <laughs> yeah, grass. grass grass the grass was very cold and you you could see the eyes on the grass. So, and we visited the, the chart of the Cristo Negro. And then, and then we went to the zoo. Okay, guys, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. All right, uh, Juan Carlos ask the question, Marco respond to the question. Volunteer. Can you repeat it, ask, uh, Yeah, Juan Carlos ask one question and Marco Antonio respond. Okay. Uh, waiting for Juan Carlos Maravilla. Ask the questions and Marco Antonio respond. Okay. Can you tell about Santa you love? Well, I love music and my family. Okay. Can you tell about Santa you have? Excuse me, something that I want. Can you tell about something you really care about? Ah, uh, yes. 
Well, I really care about my family, friends, and my personal goals. No sé si ya me la respondiste, se me cortó. Can you tell about something that you have? Es como que algo que no te guste, ¿verdad, Che? Hate. Ah, perdón, perdón. Hate. 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 Sí, okay. hate. Something you hate. Well, let me see. Personal. Well. I think that's something that I don't, I don't hate, but I don't like is chicken. Chicken. Okay. It's, it is chicken, yes. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, Can we're going to stop. Up. We're going to stop right here, guys. Time is okay. up. We will continue tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform. Good night. Thank okay, you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.